hey, how are we doing? Welcome to this, my first Enlight Photo Fox tutorial. So, um, obviously, Photo Fox, it's on a sort of a, um, you can get a free version, of course, but the um, the, the Pro Tools are on a, a subscription sort of base, so... I was a little bit against that at first, but I thought I'd give it a try and see what we're all about. And um, I've been using it for quite a while and, and got my sort of head around um, how the way it all works. So, um, so yeah, we're ready to move forward with the um, with the tutorial. So, so yeah, here's my first one. I'm going to do sort of a color splash. So let's um, let's get on and do it. So um, let me just close this down. So this image here, I will um, I will include it. I will include a link to it in the description of this video. It's my own picture. I took the picture myself, so um, so feel free to use it. Um, if you should use it anywhere, obviously, just just give me some sort of um, some sort of mention or something like that. I don't know, whatever. So yeah, so what we're going to do is a color splash. So we're going to make the background um, black and white, and then use the foreground um, sort of these um, these butterflies. We use the foreground um, and and keep them in color. So obviously the main difference, or one of the main differences you'll notice with um, with Photo Fox is, is the layer system, using the layer system. Now, this is something, if you use any sort of Pro Tools or any other sort of um, um, sort of image editing app, you'll be you'll be used to, so, um, so it's quite easy. But I'm, just for this one, I'm going to try and keep it as simple as I can, so you'd probably be able to do this on the basic version. So I'll just use one layer and, and work everything on one layer. But just be aware, you could do this on a second layer. Generally, if you're going to use layers and you're going to edit a layer, just copy the layer and edit on top. So you can always go back, um, and it's just sort of a, a fail-safe technique that, that, that people use. So along the bottom, I've got my layers, I've got my tone, I've got my tools, I've got my add, I've got my artistic, and these all, all do different things, pretty much the same as InLight did as well. Um, and we will learn them as we go through different tutorials. So here I just want to, there's again various ways that I can do things. I could do it with, um, I could make my image black and white with filters, with the adjust tool, um, with dark room, with, with, with duo, I could do it with different ways. And But the simplest way, of course, is just use the tool that's there, which is black and white. And now, on the black and white, again, I'm not too sure on whether or not you'll have this on the essential, um, this essential drop down or this cinematic um, presets on the on the free version. But if you don't, you can use neutral, which I'm on at the moment on the bottom left hand side, you can see. Um, but I'm just going to use this ES6, which is essential six. And all that does is sort of darkens, if you can look at from the neutral, it just darkens the um, the darker parts of the image and um, and keeps the light ones sort of light as well. Okay, so then we're going to go to eraser. Now in our eraser, what we want to do, we remember we've just made the image black and white, so we're going to erase black and white parts of this image. Okay, so the way I'm going to do that, um, and I like to do the. You can do this quite quickly with um, with Photo Fox. It's quite cool because you can change the size of the brushes. So I'm just going to zoom into my image a little bit by pinching and squeezing on the screen, and then I'm going to go to this um, paintbrush on the right hand side, and I'm going to drag the paintbrush size up till it's quite big. Um, and you can see my little scale in the centre of my screen is on 80 something, and then I'm just going to start wiping over the wings of this butterfly. And not really caring too much about um, going over the lines. Um, it's just a quick way of colouring things in. Or, as I am doing, as I said we're doing, is wiping away the black and white, um, the black and white effect. Then I'm just going to move my screen around and just do the second one as well. And again, you notice I'm not being too careful at all. Um, I'm just going round um, quite quickly with my finger so you probably noticed as well they started doing um, online tutorial or sorry video tutorials for Enlight as well I do like Photo Fox I think it's very good it's very very powerful um, much more powerful than um, Enlight but what has annoyed me a little bit is They've not stopped supporting in light as much, but they've stopped talking about it, and they sort of try and push everyone to Photo Fox, the, the the free version. Which I suppose people don't like change once they get used to something. You want to keep that, so uh, you know. 
So now what I want to do is I want to get rid of the, the parts that I've gone over the line. So now I'm going to zoom in. Let me just make sure all of the outer parts of my image is indeed um, colored in or the black and white part removed. And then what I'm going to do is you can look at this in a different way. You can click this invert button. You can look. So now my once you've done this, you can change it around. So the background is black and white and then the foreground or the, the, the other part is is um, is not colored but you can see where I've not colored here look so I'd have to do a restore on this bit to restore the black and white part but yeah so you can do that and, and on some images it would look quite cool so I suppose if you're going to do this yourself if you had a picture of yourself with a bright t-shirt on if you could like use this color splash to um, I don't know a bright t-shirt with a logo or, or a bright hat on or something like that then this would be quite effective so I'm just gonna click invert again to get back to the back um, black and white background and then I'm going to select restore brush and I'm gonna turn the brush um, thickness down on my right hand side to about what 30 40 something like that and just just play it play around and see what see what works for me and then I'm going to so obviously the, the temptation here is to make the brush really thin but if you made the brush really thin then let me find a piece here for you it's okay in these in these thinner parts here but if you were going around and you had it zoomed right in you'd have to sort of do quite a bit whereas if we made it a little bit thicker up to the 40s then we could do it quite quickly we could get rid of the the colored parts quite quickly you see and um, and yeah I'm just going to continue doing this until I feel that or I can see visually that I've got rid of all and the only thing that's left is my butterfly that is in black and white so you can see there's like quite a bit of on the outsides of this that you don't notice until you zoom right in and it is quite effective to um, to notice where you want to so you noticed I went over the wing there so what I could do is click on the left hand side click the undo button and the undo again um, and just gets me back to where I was so you see here the brush because I've zoomed in a little bit more I've just increased the thickness the brush thickness so it just lets me work a little bit more efficiently with the color on the um, just a little bit further away from the butterfly I suppose um, obviously making it a, um, a paid subscription and then sort of seemingly forcing everyone down the forcing everyone down the um, the photo fox route can um, can be a little bit annoying I was with you um, or, or, or I do empathize so I will try and do all of my sort of other tutorials that I did on Inlight and I'll, um, I'll bring them to Photo Fox as well. I see that they've already stolen my or used, I'll say used my um, my dispersion effect on the new Photo Fox. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at improving on what they've done and, um, and bringing that to you. Um, I've not done colour splash yet, I don't think. But again, this is something, so I'll try and keep most of my tutorials, something that you can also do on InLight. So, um, or I have already done on InLight. So if you like the tutorial that's done here, just go over to my InLight playlist and um, the, the, the old InLight or InLight Basic, whatever you want to call it, just InLight. And you will see that that's on there as well. So excellent. So these are my two. If I zoom in, yeah, it's all good. These are my two butterflies now in colour, and my background is in black and white. Now you can leave it like this, and it does look quite effective. Um, it looks quite cool. Really, really nice effect. If you zoom in here, look, it looks, um, it looks quite good. But I'm just going to press this tick button. I want to um, want to do a few more things. I'm going to press this tick button up here, top right hand side. And then that will finish off that um, 
that sort of effect for me. So, or, or sorry, finish that that sort of session for me. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add um, some um, some some light effects, some vignettes and light effects. And again, I don't know if you have this in the basic, but if you don't, um, I apologise. But um, but yeah, try and follow through as best you can. But if not, this is quite a nice effect, and you can definitely do this in the basic. So I'm going to select my vignette sort of image here. And then I'm just going to change with my finger and thumb, drag it in or out. And I want it sort of around here. These little anchor points on the outside here, I'm just going to drag these out. So it's sort of, um, and what it does, it sort of just moves the vignette areas away. Because next we're going to in, um, in, in, include a, a light, a light, um, a light beam sort of effect or sort of light effects. So I've just clicked the little tick button on the top right hand side and I'm going to select this light FX right here and I'm going to use this ES9 in this um, just in here and I'm just going to move it out to the left or to the right and again pinch and squeeze on my thumb and it increases or decreases the size of the light effect so I've just made it sort of maximum and then I'm pushing this effect just off the screen to the left hand side I'm going to um, press the little press the little tick button um, and then I'm going to select the light effects down here, ES9 again. I'm going to pinch and squeeze. Just decrease the size of this so it's just a little bit more intense, this light effect this side. So like so. Little tick button again. And then what we can do, I suppose, we can we could darken darken it even more. Um, there's this little thing called dark room here. It's quite nice. Um, I definitely don't think you have this on the free version. But yeah, select this dark room. And then on the essential tab, just open up the essential tab. Just select the deepen. And this, you can make the darker areas a little bit more darker. Um, and it just looks quite nice. Look, so if, if we have it like this, look at what it was. So it is just all about what you prefer. It just makes the dark areas a little bit darker. I'm going to select the tick button there. And then to save this out, all we do is we select the little um, little sort of um, arrow on the right hand side here. And then we just save to camera roll. So we just select and save to camera roll. And we'll have a look at what that image looks like. So this is a really simple color splash. And um, I'll be back with more in light photo fox tutorial tutorials very soon. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll um, I'll catch you all soon.